Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today our topic is answering some comments. Uh, you know, uh, I always keep my comment open so people they can share and they can refute us, they disagree with us. That's wonderful actually. I like it when people disagree with me. So we will start reviewing a uh, comment and actually we will go back to the comment which we did not finish yesterday to answer the Muslims uh, how they try to refute us. Uh, going through the comment in front of me here, I find there's many comments are funny. Some of them, they are silly. Here we have a person, his name is Mo Money. He's saying, did Jesus fulfill the Messianic age, the rebuilding of the third temple, gathering the exile of Israel? And then he is posting for you, Isaiah 2.4. You know, here I say to Mo money, uh, look like money is not working good for you. Because if you have a little decency, why you don't quote the verse before it? Why you jump right away? I mean, why you quote only two Isaiah 2, 4? Why you don't want to quote what is before it? If we go to Isaiah, just to show you the, you know, those people who they are attacking Jesus, who don't want to believe in Jesus. Uh, maybe he is a Jew. I don't know who is he. But whatever he is, he's not honest. Because if you go to Isaiah right away, you will see it says in the last days. Why you did not quote the verse where it says this is will happen in the last days. And it shall come to pass in the last days. You don't like this one. So you like only verse number four. And this is what Muslims do. There is no honesty and there is no decency. And stupid you, people are laughing at you now. So let us go to the front comment. Obviously, you are not even worth to answer. But we go over all kinds of silly people. <clears throat> uh, let us see. Let's see if we can find some Muslim comment. I remember in the previous video, uh, oh, here we have a comment in the other video. All right. Here we have Mr. Tito uh, Barrios. He is saying the following. Thus the Lord he used to speak to Moses face to face, and he is quoting Exodus uh, 33 11 and Exodus 33 20. And then he says, CP, there's a lot of other things we can say to prove Islam is false than saying Islam is false because of their God has a face and body part. Peace of Christ with you, sir. My friend, my brother in Christ, because you are ignorant. Even though you are my brother in Christ, I have to say it, ignorant of the topic. You think this is not to be mentioned. You see, my problem with the Christians that I always speak to ignorant Christians. And when I say ignorant, by the way, don't be don't be feel offended. I am ignorant too in many things, you know. Like if you give me a letter to write in English, I will make like a hundred mistakes in one hundred words. So I am ignorant in English. But the funny is you will see someone who do not know what he is talking about when I teach someone who spent his life making people leave Islam. You want to teach him how, what, and what to do. This is what I hate most about those Christians. It's like, you know, somebody, he's an eye doctor, and he's working, let us say, for the last 30 years, uh, uh, helping people eyes to see. And then a guy, he, he don't have anything like he does. He don't. He's not an eye doctor. He's a me baby mechanic. And he will tell you now what you need to do to make people see better. But because if you're ignorant, ignorance, I forgive you. My friend, the Muslim reject Jesus. Why? They reject Jesus because he's God and yet he's a man. So you are saying to me, don't talk about it. Don't you want to show me that, show them that they are stupid by saying Jesus cannot be God because he's a man, when their God is a man. 
He have all the future of men. So you are saying to me, don't prove Muslim wrong by mentioning something extremely important for Christians to learn and to refute them. Don't talk about it. Why? Because Mr. Tito, he think it's not important. My friend, Mr. Tito, please avoid coming to my page if you think you are wasting your time. Because maybe you can open a channel and you can refute the Muslims without mentioning the body parts of Allah. The body parts of Allah destroy everything Islam stands for. You see, there's a Muslim, actually I will show you a comment, where a person, he said, uh, a Muslim person, he says, Allah is a spirit. Let me see where we can find uh, the Muslim statement what he said he said you can find it actually I'm not sure where I saw it yesterday uh, he said Allah is a spirit here you see the ignorance and the confusion of the Muhammadan because if we go right now and search in Google, we can find the comment later, you will find not a single Muslim agree that Allah is a spirit. So who is this Muslim who is saying Allah is a spirit? Why? Because the Quran says Allah, he created Jesus from his spirit. I mean, this is a stupid you. What the Muslims think, what Islam think, that the spirit here does not present that Allah is a spirit, but from a spirit which Allah he created, Jesus is a created. If we go right now and we search in Prophet Google, peace upon him, and you will see a Muslim, he was asking the sheikhs, and obviously he's debating me. He is debating with the Christian and asking, does God have a spirit? So the Muslim who made a comment, and we will scroll down to find it. You are an ignorant person, the same as the rest of Muslims who think that Allah is a spirit. So here those are the highest scholars of Islam answering this person who is asking, Christians asking me, is Allah is a spirit? Do he have a spirit? The answer, no. The spirit or a soul is not one of the attributes of Allah. So the foolish person who come to us and he's claimed that he is a Muslim, obviously he know nothing about Islam and this is nothing new. I mean, 99% of Muslims, they have no idea who they are God. If you remember, there's a guy who is from Morocco who used to call me almost every day. Anyone remember him? I forgot his, his name. Uh, he called me, he is like 50 years old. He's a Moroccan, he live in Morocco. He speak Arabic. And then when I said to him, Allah is a spirit, he was like, what? That's stupid, what are you talking about? Then the idiot, he went and he searched Google and he came to me after like half hour saying, you are right. This is what happened to the Muhammadan. When we say that the Muslims are the last one to know who is Allah, we are telling the truth. They have no idea. I mean, an, a Moroccan guy who live in Morocco, who speak Arabic, who is trying to prove me wrong, he called me liar. He, you know, and he, in it's recorded, you can search it in, in, in YouTube. He never heard, yeah, nightmare, he called him nightmare. He never heard that his God is not a spirit. So all his life, 50 years as a person who speak Arabic in a Muslim country, going to the mosque, worshiping Allah, bending over, huh? up and down, up and down like a yo-yo, yet he is not knowing he is worshiping who? He thinks he is worshiping a spirit. Uh, Imran uh, Ashak, you are welcome to stay in my chat, but you need to speak as an adult. This is the last warning. You keep saying Christian prince will convert to Islam. Why you want to convert to Islam? To marry your mother? Because your father, he used her for one night stand and he divorced her. So behave yourself, speak like a man, otherwise we will spank you, send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Warning for you. Muslims are welcome to debate me, argue, but don't be silly, Christian prince will convert to Islam. Yeah, I converted to Islam. I'm a Muslim already.
let me start watching uh, child pornography like Muhammad. You want me to be a Muslim now? Right now? Should we start watching child pornography? A prophet who have sex have a desire for a six years old girl. This is your master. This is the best man you have. So, when a Muslim he come in the comment section and he say to us, Allah is not a spirit, we love. All right? Uh, here we have another Muslim comment actually this is the one from yesterday we will go back to it and then we will continue with more comments attention any respected Christian the name of the creator is unique not a mathematical one or mathematic one here we have to stop and see how stupid this comment is first of all who is this who is the one who made god mathematic it is you let us prove it you see the muslim they say because we have god the father god the son god the holy spirit that's making mathematically uh, an, uh, like number one plus one plus one that will make them three that's because you are a stupid person and you have a wrong philosophy. You know, Muslim also remind me of a Muslim he went to school to learn philosophy on logic. So the teacher, he said to him, uh, he, he, the, the, the student, he's my cousin, he's a good Arab, he said to the teacher, uh, what is logic? What does this logic mean? We are going to study logic. What logic mean? The teacher, he said, logic is you can be able to know something from knowing something else the student my cousin abdul he did not understand he said can you explain he said okay i will ask you a question and from that question i will be able to know things about you the guy my cousin abdul he, he agree okay go ahead so he asked him do you have a chain my cousin abdul he said yes he said because you said to me you have a chain that's when you have a dog my cousin abdul he said yes i have a dog he said to him, as long as you have a chain and you have a dog, that's mean you have a garden. My cousin, the Abdul, he was like shocked. Yes, we have a chain, we have a chain, we have a dog and we have a garden. And he said to him, the teacher, because you have a chain and you have a dog and you have a garden, that's mean you have a big house, nice house. He said, yes, we have a chain, we have a dog, we have a garden, we have a big house. Unbelievable, Allahu Akbar. Then the teacher continues saying, because you have a chain, you have a dog, you have a garden, you have a big house. Your mother, she is taking care of all this big house. The guy, he said, yes, it's a lot of work. Agree. The teacher said, because you have a chain, you have a dog, you have a garden, you have a big house, and your mother taking care of her, of this house, that means she is a good woman. My cousin Abdul, he loved it. He said, yes, my mother is a good woman. Now, my cousin Abdul, he learned logic now. So he went in the street. He saw the first person, he asked him, do you have a chain? The guy, he said, no. He said to him, you know what? Your mother is a whore. Why? Because he learned now that the one who have a chain, his mother is good. If you don't have a chain, your mother is a whore. So this is how Muslims, they join a logic class and they learn philosophy. They have the whole logic. So if I ask Muslims, what is the mathematical God you are talking about? One, where we can find it? Do Christians believe in mathematical God or you are creating a fiction whore? They have no dignity. They have no decency. We don't believe in mathematic one. Not a single Christian believe in something called one plus one plus one. You see, if we ask the Muslims, is Allah is one? They say yes. Okay, hold on. Is one what? When we say a person is one, 
Are you speaking about numbers? What does that mean? Are you speaking about creators? I will go with his comment and I will assume he is talking about the creator. The name of the creator. Here you see the stupidity of those who follow Muhammad. They have very much confusion about who is the creator. If we go to the stupid Quran, we will find the yellow pages of Muhammad. That Muhammad saying, Allah is the best of the creators. So how you Muslims you worship a creator, but he is not the only creator. Which one you worship? Chapter 23, verse number 14. الخالقين, Plus be Allah, the best of the creators. How many creators? And if you read the translation, you will see the Muslim, they change the translation, to, they fabricate, and they change the word creator, creators, to create. Look at this. What is the word to create in the in the verse in Arabic? It's not exist. Where it says the best to create, it's not exist. You change the translation. All of them they are Muslim. We use only Muslim translations. We go to different Muslim translation. Let us see Hilali and Khan. Hilali and Khan. Okay. Uh oh. In the translation of Hilali and Khan, it says the best to create. To create of the creators. He is the best of the creators. So how Muslim they say to us they worship one creator when there is many creators? No, no, I'm not going to Skype. Actually, I'm not using the Skype anymore because it's too much messages and crazy. I might even change the account <clears throat> or use Paltok. Uh, Allah is the best of the creators. But how that can be true? Either you, Muhammad, lying, claiming there's other creators, or you believe in the oneness of God, and that will make the statement false statement. If I say I am the best student, and there's no other student, that means I'm lying. Because simply I'm not the best of students. Because how I can be the best of the students if there's no other student to compare to? Right? Can we? Uh, Peacemaker is saying this. Let me show you a Muslim comment. I will go to my video soon and I play for you how the Muslim, they say Allah have shin, Allah have legs, Allah have etc. And have body parts. It says only creators. It doesn't say many gods. Well, Peacemaker you are the same person, I guess, is you're my cousin who went to the school to learn logic. Let me show you. The Quran give you definition who is God. It's the one who can create. Only. So when you say creators, you admit there is God's. Chapter 22, verse number 73. Allah said to those people who they are worshipping other gods, those gods you are worshipping, they cannot even create even a fly. So what the Quran is saying? You worship the one who can create a fly. Are we listening, people? We worship who? The one who can create a fly. All right. The other verse saying, Allah, the best of the creators. So in order to be given the title of a creator, you have to create a fly. So what do you mean Allah did not say there's other gods? And we knew the story here. Muhammad, he copied a guy, he was his in his scribe. When he heard Muhammad, he was he liked what Muhammad said. So he added at the end of the word, on the, on, the, on the end of the sentence, he said, Blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he took the words, he put it in the Quran. And this is why the same guy who said that sentence, who Muhammad stole it from him, he left Islam later. And Muhammad ordered to kill him. And because he's the brother of Uthman, later he was 
forgiven and he forced to join Islam when Muhammad became victorious. Right? So when a person he claimed that he have one God and yet he claimed that there is many creators that person is very confused stupid ignorant he do not know what one God mean what I see here in this verse you are saying to me that there is many gods but you choose to worship one of them he's not the only one God this is what the best of the creators mean Otherwise, you have to explain to me how in the world the best of the creators come to be true. Either you have to accept that Muhammad stole it as the story in your Islamic book saying, he like it, he added, it doesn't make sense, but he's a stupid, he's a thief. Or you have to say, okay, this is coming from Allah. And Allah is saying to us, he is the best of the creators. So how you can deny that there is a creators if Allah himself saying he is the best of the creators? Now, if you want to say to me that Allah is not the best of the creators and Allah was saying the statement, that's mean Allah is making a false statement because I cannot say I am the best of the students unless there's many students. If I am saying I am the best of the student, yet there's no other students, that's mean I'm lying. So choose one. Whatever you choose of those options, Allah is a, is, a, is a fiction God. So when a Muslim, he says, the mathematic God of the Christians, what are you talking about? We believe in one God, you don't. You believe in many creators. Additional to that, if we go in different verse in the Quran, you will find the God of Islam, if we can call him God, but you know, there's many gods in this earth. There's many, millions. People worship many things. Look at this. Allah claim that if you want to take a partner, he will take it from ourself. And you can choose any translation you wish. All of them, they are a fraud. Doesn't matter really what translation you choose. Had we intended to take a part time, a pastime, i.e. a wife, a son, etc., we would surely have taken it from us. Okay, hold on. When we say to the Muslim, why Allah, he keeps saying we, they say this is majestic statement, which is very funny. I mean, God, he need to say we to make himself majestic. He is using the language of kings, but he's one, but he say we. So it's suitable for Allah to call him we, for that will make him more important. So what we understand from the we, that Allah as one is not important. Allah as we, is important this is what we mean if we were going to do that if we okay we who Allah is one supposedly so if you are saying to me that Allah he say we because that would make him big important that is the most stupid statement because you just admitted that Allah as one is not important as Allah as we Guys, are you listening? Because I am adding the word we to do what? The Muslim, they say it's majestic. So it's majestic for God to be we, not one. That's what you Muslims say. I mean, can you believe it how stupid this religion is? So they reject that God can be God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and yet they make their God we. Why? Because we is better than one. And if we ask Zakir Naik about this, for sure he will refute me. I mean, you know Zakir Naik. His answers is always ready. I don't know if I call him right now, but you know, I think he will be sleeping or something. What is the time now in Malaysia? I'm not sure. And, and by the way, uh, 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 
Zach and Nick, he have something special about him. He knew it's me even before he, you know, I don't even have a phone. I'm using internet phone. He, how he knew it's me, the one is Korean, I have no idea. I think Jibril, you know, Jibril, he do a lot of things, like, uh, you know, additional to making uh, laundry and doing laundry and pizza. You know. Christian Prince, I told you to call me. Like, oh, Zach and Nick, how in the world you know it's me, man? I did not even say hello yet. Christian Prince, I told you 1,000 times don't call me. First of all, I'm busy with you. Secondly, you are stupid. Like, well, hey, okay, I was stupid. I did not say anything yet. It doesn't matter what you say, you are stupid. Okay, just Zach and I, just hold on. How and why you Muslim you use the word we when you speak about Allah? Why Allah he say we? Christian Prince, Allah is very beautiful. And Allah is very important. And because it's very important, he say we. Uh -huh. So if he is not saying we, he is not important. Christian Prince, this is very dangerous. I swear by Allah, I'm going to behead you. You behead me, you don't behead me, so you cannot answer. So you are saying to me, Allah cannot be important unless we say we, because that will make him majestic. So Allah is one God, is not majestic. Allah is we, is majestic. Is that true? Christian Prince, first of all, I hate you. Second of all, I hate you. And number three, I'm not going to answer you. Exactly, but still that will not help. A lot of people will leave Islam now. We want to know what kind of logic you Muslims have. If Allah is one, why he call himself we? You say this is majestic, so Allah will look better if he is more than one. This is what we mean, because you are saying it's an insult to say is it is he, it's better to say it is we. So why Allah he is he, but yet he call himself we? Peter Prince, I will explain to you. Even though you are very slow, and because you eat pork and you are not clean. Uh, okay, you get a the point there. Exactly. And now I'm going to get you busted. As an example, if you see your mother-in-law, how many person you see? Uh, what? If you see your mother-in-law, how many person you see? My mother-in-law? Yes. Uh, I'm not married. Okay, I'm married for four women. So I have four mother-in-law. But if I see one of them, honest to God, I see like 100 women. Because they drive me crazy. So I see one person, but it, in fact it is we. The second my mother-in-law she saw up, you see we women. A lot of women. Uh, Zachar, I'm not sure what this has to do with my topic. Your mother-in-law, she's one person, but you see her as we because... Because it's scary. And Allah is scary. Allah can kill you. Allah can destroy you. So Allah, because he is scary like my mother-in-law, so he can, we call him we. And this is why even if you see in the hospital, all the hospital cards, they say we, 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 we. I get you, but said. You know, Zach and I, I never thought about it this way. You are genius. Actually, you are gene and yes together. This is Islam. Can you go more stupid than this? So Allah is one, yet he call himself we, yet even to take a partner, he will take it from, from us. Okay, Allah will take a partner from us, us who? Let us forget about the we now and focus in Mr. Us. Allah wanna take a partner from us. What do you think? Look what Abbas, Abbas he, Abbas, he went to the bathroom, he did his diarrhea, and he got this answer. Mr. Genius, you must understand one simple principle that by telling lies again and again, it does not change into a fact. It is still remaining a lie. Thank you very much. So you must you say Allah is one, Allah is one, Allah is one, and then Allah, he says us. He will take a partner from us. You see, you cannot say now us mean majestic. Because he's talking about taking a partner, a wife. Allah will marry himself. So Abbas, 
he he went to the you know he stopped his car in the highway to drive to, to deliver pizza and then he decided to answer me and after he think and he thought and he thought about it he come with this answer how silly what does this have to do with my question? And actually, I agree with you. Repeating a lie 1,000 times will not make it true. The same as your prophet repeat that your penis will be endless. You're a prophet, he said, that when you pray, shaitan, take care from your anus. Prove it. I want you to put a slow motion camera behind your anus when you pray to Allah and show us how shaitan, he take care from your anus each time you bend down. Can you? Very easy. We'll take you five minutes to do it. I'm sure you have a good phone. Your wife, she can do it from your behind. Praise be to Allah. Your prophet said, if you enter the bathroom and you don't say a prayer, shaitan will go inside your anus. Prove it. I want to see Abbas having a video going inside the bathroom, shaitan going inside his anus and he is suffering. Don't tell me shaitan will go there and you feel nothing. That's mean you are used to it. And you know what does that mean? So tell yourself about not to repeat a lie because repeating a lie will not make it truth. And this is what you must do. You avoid answering the question why Allah, he say, taking from us a partner, how he can take a partner from us. No answer. You see, he did not say I take a partner from them. No, from us. In order to be considered one of us, you have to be like us. Correct? In order to be considered as a part of a group of people, I have to be like them. One of their kind. So if Allah is unique, who is us? And here, remember, he's talking about taking a partner. If you go and read the interpretation, they say the clearly is to take a son or a wife to have sex with. And that will take us back to the uh, comment of this Abdul. Look what he said. He said that Allah created Adam with his Adam own image of hands, yes. Therefore, Allah is not any human property. Well, we showed you, if we go our videos here, we showed everybody that your God Allah, he have human body property. And all of you Muslims agree about it, with no question. Every single Muslim of you, like we know that uh, Mimi Hijab in the debate, he said to David Wood, who said so? But we have tons of videos, you know, of uh, of Muslims saying clearly, and this is the opinion of Islam, this is not the opinion of Christians or Jews or Hindus, that yes, Allah is, he have a foot, Let us see. <clears throat> All right. This is your God. I have nothing to do with it. And this is your Muslim teaching in the mosque. So when a Muslim they say Allah does not have body parts, and this is to answer the Christian who said to me, why you are talking about this? Ignorant Christian who want to teach us how to speak to Muslims. We spend our life fighting the skull, and then a guy who is coming from middle of nowhere, he want to teach us what, what to do. Uh, la hu you several times in the Quran, never mean partner or wife. You see, Abbas, I don't care how stupid you are. How it is not uh, 
my purpose but you are stupid for sure because look what you just said and my browser again froze look guys what Abbas he said it's mentioned in the Quran the word lahu means amusement or pastime not partner you stupid idiot the word lahu is a word mean women secondly as long you are saying to me does not mean partner so why are you Muslims in the translation saying partner are you saying to me that you Muslims are a bunch of liars when you translate here you notice the struggle of the Muhammadan with their own lies you see the struggle they struggle with it they make a lie and they don't want to believe their own lie because if I go with you now I say okay Mr. Abbas this is what it's mean so why your Muslim saying the opposite why your Muslim translation is not saying that why your Muslim interpretation doesn't say that so translation interpretation scholars Ibn Kathir Al-Jalalain Al-Qurtubi Al-Tabari etc all of them they are saying what I am saying so who is lying now you you are a liar and you have no dignity remember one thing Muslims are willing to say anything to defend their cult even if it's a lie anything this is why we saw uh, as an example Mimi Hijab when David would say to him Allah has body parts he said who said so who said so he never heard it this is not true so can we take what Muhammad Hijab is saying to be true absolutely false they are a fraud like their prophet who is the Muslim who can teach us about Islam why Muslims when they debate a Christian they say something different from what they are in the mosque the answer is very simple who will remain forever the what the face of Allah Ta'ala in a narration a dua that Muhammad Salim used to say by an Nisa'i Ahmad bin Shu'ayb, he used to always say this beautiful dua I ask you for the joy of looking at your face, of looking at your face. In another narration by Muslim, the hadith says, hey, Abbas, Abbas, are you stupid or what? Let me ask you a very simple question Does your interpretation say, Lahu mean wife? Yes or no? Does your interpretation say that or it's me who's saying that? Because I can open the interpretation right now and I will show you the interpretation saying it clearly, the word lahu mean, mean, uh, uh, mean women. So, do you, are you challenging me or you are challenging your scholars? Are you there Abbas? You are challenging who exactly? You see how stupid you are? A Pakistani boy who do not know how to read two Arabic words, he is telling me what the word mean. And we are the Arab and the scholar who translated they are Arab and those who explain it they are Arab and they are Muslims and yet Abbas is the one who knows Christian Prince you do not know when I say the scholars you scholars what's how stupid you are man so are you saying to me that the scholars who speak Arabic and they are Arab they do not know what the word mean and you know the Pakistani pizza boy Because we can open the interpretation right now and I will show you what it says. And as you see, even your own Islamic translation saying the word wife. Why the translator he add the word wife for the word pastime? Because this is what it's meant. Who is this translator? Is he maybe a Christian? Maybe he's a Hindu? No, this is a Muslim translator, Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan.
I mean, your, your argument is silly and stupid and people are laughing at you. But I keep you in my chat, by the way, just entertainment for people. They, they need something to chew on. You know, they need gum and popcorn. So it is their own translation. It's their own website. It's their own writing. It's their own words. It says wife. And he said to me, it doesn't say that CP. Secondly, does it say us? Does it say us or not? Yes, it says. Actually, the word Laduna, it's about our kind, not only us. And how Allah will take a wife. And that will take us back to the comment section. My, my, uh, uh, My, com my my browser crashed, so I open it again. Let me see where is this comment now. I don't see it. Okay, let's go down to see the comment of the Abdul. The mathematical God. Because he mentioned there even about Jesus, he resembled the Father, as he claimed. And that make Jesus have a private part. Sorry, make the Father have a private part. Let's wait, let's read together. Um Okay, here we go. We are here. This is the comment. I hope my browser will not crash again. So look what he said here. Look how filthy even the Muslim, how they insult their God just to defend Islam. So he said, Christian believe in a Holy Father as a mathematic one. And they add two to him in a question. They, uh, 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 they call it a Trinity. Yet it's still mathematic one. Hmm. Adam similar to the Holy Father, and both are male, while Adam has a son and daughter more than Holy Father. The poor are called the children of Allah, which is metaphorically different from true father, who has a child via intercourse with a female. This is mean Jesus is not real son of God. Do you see how he answered himself? Read carefully what he said. The poor are called children of Allah. I want you to show me the verse where the poor are called children of Allah, you stupid idiot. I want you to show me where in Islam it says that the, ch the poor are the children of Allah. Which is mathemat metaphorically. So the first statement is a lie. Nowhere in Islam teach that. And then the difference from a true father that he have a child through intercourse. Well, isn't it you Muslim say that Mary, she was virgin and there's no intercourse? And here you will have a, the, the, the stupidity of Islam. You just agree that Jesus is a son of a woman have no intercourse. So who is the father of Jesus? See, you refuted yourself by yourself. You see the ignorance of those people? He just said, the poor are called children of Allah, which is a false statement. Islam doesn't believe in believing that. Actually, the Quran says it clearly that the bad ones is the one who say we are the children of Allah. Islam rejected. Just to get you busted. You are a liar and a coward like your prophet. Inserting belief into Islam just to make an argument look better. But the Quran says clearly that who says we are the children of Allah, 
Muhammad said to them, Allah told me, well, if you are, how come Allah is punishing you for your sin? The children, the Christian, the Jews and the Christian, they say, we are the sons of Allah and his beloved. Say, then why both of you, why, why doth he punish you for your sin? Look at the stupid argument. Look at the stupid argument. And here you notice that Muhammad is so stupid to the point he think that they are saying that they are really children, literally. So when the Muslim, he posts a comment, never take a comment of a Muslim seriously because they are dishonest about their cult. They never say a teaching of Islam about their cult. They fabricate things about their cult. And he just said to us, Islam teach that Allah, that the poor are the children of Allah. Who is the Muslim want to show me that verse? Who is the Muslim want to show me the verse that says that poor are the children of Allah? Any Muslim searching Google? Let us go back to the comments so we can laugh more. Uh, then he says, this is mean Jesus is not the real son, but this is stupid of you. Because Jesus, you need to explain to us why Jesus have no father then. You know, the, the Quran says that the similarity between Jesus and Adam, both he said to them be and was. But if you read the whole Quran, we see nowhere Allah created anything by be, including Adam, including Jesus. Did Allah created Adam by saying be? The Quran say no. Allah he made mud. Allah he mixed the water with the dust. Allah he fashioned uh, the mud. Then Allah he breathed into the mud. And then Allah, uh, after he breathed, even after he breathed, it took time. Right? Let us show you the verses in the Quran just to get Allah busted. <clears throat> this is the stupid Quran. In the front of your eyes. Saying, and when I have fashioned him, like, a, like an idol, and then I breathe into him of my spirit. So where is B and he was? And the Quran says, if you find contradiction in this book, obviously it is not from Allah. For this is a contradiction. Either Allah, he said to Adam B, and he was, or Allah, he fashioned him and he made him in order and in stages. If you go in the Quran, you will find this. Uh, read carefully. Chapter 3, verse number 59. Supposedly the one is talking is Allah, saying, Verily the likeness of Isa before Allah is the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust. Then he said to him, be and he was. <laughs> if you go to the story of Isa, you will find that Allah, he sent his spirit, his word, sorry, first to Mary. And then he blew in the private part of Mary. The Quran used a filthy word, used the word vagina. He blew into her vagina. And then after that, Jesus was created. Where is B and he was? So neither Adam, neither Isa was created by B. Stupid Quran. And then additional to all of this, 
the Quran says if you find contradiction in this book obviously this book is not from Allah the funny the Muslim they say to you the Arab at that time they were like wondering how amazing the Quran the Quran say the Arab they make fun of the Quran <laughs> Read it. The Arab are making fun of the Quran, and Muhammad is saying to them, "Okay, why they cannot consider the Quran? Why they cannot? Consider? It's stupid." Here we go. Had it been other than Allah, it would be surely found there is many contradiction. Well, you just said Allah He created Jesus by saying "be" same as Adam, and then in the other verses saying that Allah created Jesus by sending His words to Mary, and then He breathed into her vagina. And then nine months after we have Jesus. The story of Adam the same. Allah he made mud, then he fashioned the mud, then he breathed into the mud. So how you say in different verse he said to him, be and he was. Not to forget to mention that the Quran uh, contradict itself in thousands of places. Like if we ask the Muslim which one Allah created first, the trees or the mountains? Or the mountains or the stars. <laughs> Have you ever heard of God? You don't remember? He said the opposite in two different verses. So when a Muslim he go filthy, and actually this guy later he says, if Jesus, if Jesus, if Adam have the image of God, let me see the comment. Maybe it is in the second comment. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Guys, read carefully. Christian does not believe in uh, figuratively and uh, insist that he is a real son of Holy Father. We went proof of Holy Father penis length and the penis shape and the supreme count, a sperm count of his relationship with Mary. Here you see how Muslim they get filthy because they are angry. They cannot refute us. So they start insulting their God, insulting Jesus. Insulting Mary. Do you see how far they go with their faith? When you are asking me for a proof of what you are saying, why you don't give me a proof that Christian believe in this? You 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 scum back. Why you don't show me that the Christian believe that the father have a penis, and his penis shape, and he have sex with Mary? We don't believe in such a garbage. So you are a faithy man like your prophet. In fact, you are insulting your God because the Quran says that Mary, she is a pure woman. And she is virgin. So there is no sexual relationship whatsoever happened. You are a liar. You are a fraud. You are angry. And then he says, just to show you how stupid he is, how is strong the Holy Father has only one child over millions of years and not a single daughter? Well, I will ask you the same. How come, how, how is strong your God who over a thousand of years he have only three daughters? No, son. If you say to me the Arab, they are the one who say he have a daughters, you need to answer, answer and tell me why. Why the Arab, they believe Allah have three daughters? Where this is coming from? Simply because Allah is a fiction God, a legion of a pagan people who believe in God have three daughters. The moon God have sex with the sun God, they have three daughters. Same time, as long as you are talking about the strong God versus the weak God, how come your God, he cannot have a son? Let us explain that from the Quran. Your God, he said in the Quran, how he can have a son when he have no girlfriend? And here we will look at what you said. Remember, you are the one who said the strong God and weak God. Why Allah, he cannot have a son? The answer is very simple. He don't have a girlfriend. Who said that? Allah. Read carefully. <clears throat> This is your stupid God giving a stupid answer because this is stupid. Uh, 
يا دو لا اه اوكي رحيم هاو ار يو رحيم رحيم اي ثينك يو نيد تو تشينج يور دايفر هي از ذا اوريجينيتر اوف ذا هيفن اند ذا ايرث هاو كان هي هاف ا تشيلدرن وين هي هاز نو وايف ام نوت جوين تو اسك اباوت واتس رونج وذ ذا بينس اوف يور جاد بت ام جوين تو اسك يو وين ا جاد هي سي هاو كان هي have a son unless he have a wife actually by the way it doesn't say wife this false translation in Arabic it says sahiba and sahiba mean girlfriend so Allah is saying to us that he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend and here we have to examine the string of Allah okay hold on if Allah he say to himself how can he have a son well how he can can he be have a God How he can be a God then? Because according to the Quran and according to Muhammad, according to the, uh, the word of Allah supposedly, Allah himself cannot have a son unless he have a woman, a concert, a girlfriend. So the ability of Allah is limited to existence of women next to him. That is the ability of a human being. Do you see it? So here we have to question. You are talking about the shape of the penis. You are getting dirty. We will go dirty with you, no problem. We will go down to your level. If there's a problem with the penis of Allah. Because listen, Allah is saying, how can, how can, what can mean? What can mean? Can is ability. How can he? Who is the one who used the word who can he? Allah. Okay. We call God Almighty because he can. Is that true, guys? Why we call God Almighty? For he can, he can do what we can out. So for me, this is makes sense. I don't have a son because I don't have a wife. I don't have a woman. I don't have a girlfriend. Okay, it makes sense. But for Allah, this is statement this is a stupid statement. Number one, Allah denied his ability to have a son without sex. Your God cannot have sex. Well, you have, you see, uh, you, you, are, you are just saying something to me very stupid of you. Why my God will have sex? But your God, he will. We just showed you a verse saying, if Allah wants to have a wife or a son, he will take a, a, a partner, a woman from his, uh, from us. And here, Allah is saying how he can have a son unless he have a wife. That's mean there's a penis involved. When you say sahiba, And this is the Arabic word, it's mean a female. And what female mean? Someone have a vagina. A human being with a vagina. Allah did not say he don't have a male to have sex with. He said he don't have a female. That's mean Allah obviously is a God with a penis. What is missing in this sexual relationship is not the penis of Allah mostly, It is the female, the concert. If the concert is there, Allah, he can. So he's saying, how can he have what? Have a son. What he need to have a son? He need a concert. Right? Word everything, what everything? It says, how can he, you idiot, what everything? Guys, what, what these guys are talking about? What everything? And look here how stupid this verse. Allah created everything, yet Allah, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. You see here it says, Allah created all things. Okay, wonderful. 
But now Allah is saying to us, he cannot have a son unless there is a girlfriend. <laughs> you know, the second you say, how can he? It's mean he cannot be God. And here you ask yourself a question, same question. How does stupid Quran say that Mary, she have a son, yet she don't have a boyfriend? I will go with the logic of Allah. Just to show you that the one who wrote the Quran is a donkey. If Allah cannot have a son because he have no girlfriend, how Mary she can have a son without boyfriend? Any Muslim? How Mary she have a son? What happened? This verse contradict anything the Quran says about Mary. Because Mary cannot have a son too. Unless she have a boyfriend or a husband. How she got the son? Muslim, they will say it's a miracle. So a miracle can happen to Jesus, happen to mother of Jesus, but they cannot happen to Allah. Allah in this ability, when it's come to him. So he claimed a miracle happened to Mary, for he's a false god, but he cannot do the same what happened to Mary to him. Because Allah do not need a girlfriend. And now how you can convince people that Mary she have no man? If you are saying, how can he? Right? How you can convince anyone that this is really impossible? I mean, it's possible. If you are saying it's impossible. So is it impossible or it's possible? In the verse of Mary, it is possible to have a son without having a boyfriend. According to the chapter 6, verse 101, it is impossible. Right? What do you think, Muslims? What do you think? And we have the stupid Abbas saying in uh, uh, in the Bible, it says that God could not drive the enemy out. I mean, you are a stupid idiot. If you read the verse before it, it says, it, verse number 18, it says that the, the, the children of Yehuda, uh, you know, uh, uh, they occupy all the land around them. But there is a land where they could not take because they have uh, the enemy, they have good armors, but still they are victorious. And it says, God, he helped them. And yes, they win. They do not lose. The question is, in the Quran, when Allah, he promised the Muslims that 10 of you can fight 100. And then the Muslims, they went to war, they lost. Totally they lost. They get humiliated when Muhammad, he promised them that 10 of you can win against 100. The poor Muslims believe Muhammad. They went. First of all, he lied to them about how many they will be there. He said to them, I saw a dream, and then the dream come to be false. He lied about the number. He lied about the victory. And when they came back after spanking, what Muhammad did, right away he changed the verses. This is the false Muhammad, chapter 8, verse number 65. In chapter 8, verse number 65, it says, O Muhammad, encourage the believers to fight, to kill. Twenty of you will come fight and vanquish 200, which means 10 to 100. A hundred of you can vanquish a thousand of unbelievers. Okay, the Muslim, they went there. They got a spank. They got humiliated. They lost. Right away when they come home, Muhammad right away is ready. He heard the news. They got busted. 
So, so he said to them, for the present, Allah has lightened your task, for he knows that there is a weak spot on you. So if there is a hundred, you with patient and preserving, you will vanquish 200. Look at the number, how it changed from 10 to 100 to 100 to 200, which means one to two. If Allah, he said to you, you'll be victorious with 10, you will be victorious. 10, even one, who care? Even, even if you are a child. The weakness is in Allah or the weakness in Muhammad, in, 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 uh, on, on the Muslims. The number of the Muslims did not change. The condition did not change. He says, uh, among you, uh, patient and preserving, this is the condition. And here, patient and preserving, this is the condition. Are you there, Abbas, potato? I feel sorry for your wife, man. Read Ibn Abbas, you idiot. I, I know what Ibn Abbas. Okay, you want to challenge me? You want to challenge me? Don't you know that this is the same fight, have the same name? There's one called it the big and one called it the small. Potato. Idiot. <clears throat> Read me a bonus. Do you want me to read Ibn Abbas? So here you see how this God cannot even keep his promise in anything. Anything. Not to mention that this God is stupid. You know, I mean. If you want to go over stupidity, like how he did not, how, he did not know how he created the earth, the heaven, he contradicted himself. Once he said the stars was created at the end. Once he said the stars created at the beginning. Once he said the mountains are first. Then he says the tree is after, and then he said the opposite. I mean, this God is all over the place. He's like a hummus, full of flies and fleas, and he asking you to eat it. So as you see here, the Muslim, when they make comments, their comments is an insult to Islam. As usual, they insult Islam in order to fight us. When God, he says that Adam created in his image, isn't it the Bible says that God created Adam in his image and the Bible says in the same time that everything created by him and for him and that is Jesus. So Adam was created in the image of Christ when he come to us in the flesh. And you see here, the stupidity of the Muslim, they forgot that Jesus the Christ with the flesh of a man does not make him filthy, he's still holy. To the point even the Quran says Jesus is holy, Muhammad is not. Muslims, is Muhammad holy in the Quran or he is a sinner? Any Muslim? Is Jesus is holy in the Quran? Is it true that Jesus is holy in the Quran and Muhammad is a sinner? In the Quran, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Bible now. Yes, the Quran witness that Jesus is the Holy Son. Quran, chapter 19, verse number 19. Do you see it? So when the Quran says that Jesus is a holy son, what make him holy and son of who? What make a human being holy anyway? No human being is holy. A human being is a human being. If we go and look at, G at, at Muhammad, we will see the Quran confirm that Muhammad was a filthy person full of sin and Allah gave him license to sin.
Hmm? <clears throat> Let us see. Oh boy. Uh, uh, guys, guys, hold on, hold on. Rahim is a Muslim who's working hard to refute me. Look what he said. Just to show you, I mean, uh, uh, drinking camel urine, what it does. I mean, what, the benefit of a drinking camel urine. He just said it doesn't say holy. It is pure. I mean, how stupid you are. Is it pure is holy? What make you holy is being pure. Pure from what? Sin. I mean, you are a certified donkey. He is not holy, he is a pure. And then he says, the angels are sinless. Again, you are a stupid donkey. The Quran says the angels are sinners and they accuse lying Adam of committing sin. Stupid. I cannot find one Muslim he knew his religion. In chapter 7, verse number 11, when the angels they accuse Allah of a creating a creature who would do mischievement in the earth. Because they accuse him lying supposedly, which is not true. It was Allah is lying. Because Adam, yes, he did mischievement. Allah, he ordered them to bow down to Adam. So you are an ignorant, you do not know your cult, and you are here to be spanked by Christian prince. And the story, by the way, is all over the Quran. Chapter 15. And you can read it from verse number one if you want. And when Allah, he said to the angels, he is going to create a creature, a human, from sounding clay. They said to him, huh, uh, are you going to create someone who would do mischievement in this earth? About all mankind? You stupid, there's only one person. You idiot. Secondly, your God, he said to him, he said to them, uh, 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 Give me your proof if you are truthful. You want to show you? Let me show you. Hold on. I, I will take a, a, a screenshot of your... Uh, just for comedy reason, you know. Rahim. You are welcome, Rahim. I like you. Take selfie. At least you are trying your best, you know, not like the rest. Uh, and just to show you how Muslims... I mean, when they talk to me, they are very much intimidated, and their brain is not functioning. They are, they are giving me words from their from their bum, not from his head, because look what you just said. They were talking about all mankind, not Adam. It doesn't matter, you donkey. First of all, it's about Adam. Secondly, if it's all about mankind, and Allah is saying to them, you are lying. That's mean your God is a stupid. <laughs> You just agree that Allah is a stupid because you just said that the angels they you know they, they accuse the children of Adam to commit sin and Allah he said to them well tell me the names of those things if you are right or if you are truthful actually you are truthful if you are truthful sadiqin I mean can I find for one time in my lifetime before I die a Muslim who's smart read the Quran you idiot. They said to him, are you going to place, would you place therein those who will make mischievement? By the way, nowhere it says those, but we will go with that. It said therein, who will place mischievement? There's no those, because it's only Adam. Um, if, even if you say those, it was Adam and Eve. And then therein shed blood, while we glorify you with praise and thanks, exalt you above all, Look what Allah said to them. And then he said to them, well, I know what you know not. That's mean what you are saying. The knowledge you are saying is, is a fraud, is a lie. And how we can say he is saying to them, you are a liar. Read carefully. He said, 
And then he taught Adam all the names of everything. And then he showed them to the angels. And he said, tell me the names of these things if you are truthful. If you are what? Truthful. That's mean he accused them of lies. And a second ago, you said, according to Islam, the angels are not sinners. Do you see how foolish you are? When you say to somebody, tell me this if you are truthful, that's mean you accuse him not to be truthful. And because they are not truthful. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. Just to show you, just to show you how Muslims, they help me. Just to show you. Okay, I think Muslim now they will accuse you that you are paid by me. Look, guys, look at this. Quran chapter 16, verse 49, 50 says angels are sinless. I mean, I don't know who is the donkey here. That's mean Allah is a donkey, if this is true. Because how this verse saying, if you are truthful, which means they are not truthful, and you are saying to me in Quran chapter 16, it says, angels are sinless. <laughs> I mean, the verse is so clear. He said to them, if you are truthful, and because they are not truthful, he ordered them to bow to Adam. But you are saying to me in Quran chapter 16, verse number 49, Allah says they are sinless. Secondly, you donkey. Where it says they are not a truth, they are not sinless in that verse. I'm not calling you a donkey to insult you. I'm insulting donkeys by calling you a donkey. Show me where it says they are not sinless. This is the first record for me. Do you see it? Where it says they are not sinless. It says they are not arrogant. There's a huge difference between arrogant and sinless. A person can be not arrogant, but he is sinless. I mean, he he full of sin. So wherever you go, you are stupid. And actually, I want to take the word stupid back. It's an insult to stupidity. Islam is an insult to stupidity. Read verse number 50. Okay, no problem. Where it says they are not sin. Here we go. They do all they commanded. Allah commanded them to bow down to Adam for they accuse him falsely. And they did. This is what the Quran is saying. Stupid idiot. Said they commit sin. You Muslim, you do the command of Allah, but you commit sin. You pray five times a day. Stupid. And when Allah he says, if you are truthful, obviously he is saying to them, you are not truthful. How simple it is if I say to you if you are a truthful tell me this answer this obviously I'm saying to you you are not a truthful they did not disobey Allah you are right but they are not truthful <laughs> how stupid you are is a lie is a sin is lying is a sin because here Allah is saying to them you are if you are truthful that's mean what you said is not true when I say if you are truthful obviously I'm saying you are not truthful and this is why he ordered them to bow down and look here the story is very stupid by the way because Allah, he taught Adam all the names and he told the angels to examine their truthful statement if they are telling the truth or not about knowing the future. I mean, how stupid the story is because later we find out that the angel, yes, they are right and Allah is wrong. What was the accusation? That they will do mischief in earth and you are the one who said to me, it's not for Adam, it's for mankind, you donkey. So was the, uh, the angels right? The, 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 the human being they will do mischief in? Spirit 40, he says, Allah says that to non-believer. You don't, he's speaking to the Adam now. There's no non-believer now. I mean, what's stupid people? I mean, stupid people, man. Allah, he said that to non-believers. There's nobody there. It's, 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 even Adam wasn't created yet, you donkey. I mean, where do those people come to me from? Is that a diarrhea day? Look, look at this guy. 
Allah speaking to non-Muslims. So what does this have to do with my topic? Here Allah is telling us what happened in the day of Adam. <laughs> Even Adam wasn't created yet. He said, I'm going to create a, a person. <laughs> Uh, I love the Chinese when they say he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. The angel, they were speaking the truth. So why Allah he said to him, if you are truthful? Because the angels are speaking the truth. Yet Allah is saying to them, if you are truthful. I mean, can you believe it? So they are speaking the truth, and I said to you, if you are truthful, in which language is that? Somebody saying to me, explain to me the Trinity. Hey, no problem. The Trinity is very simple, Tony. We witness the Trinity every day in our life, but there's many forms of it. And I will give you an example. And the example is not to take it literally, but just to make it, to make it simple for you. When you see the sun in the sky, it's a star. But you feel the heat of the sun, and you see the light of the sun. The heat, the light, the star are three. But yet all of them, they are the sun. Rahim, you are a stupid person. How they are speaking the truth and Allah, he said to them, if you are truthful. And why he ordered them and he punished them to bow down to Adam because they accuse him of mischievement. I mean, who is the stupid here, man? Are you, are you okay? Stop saying they are speaking the truth. You are insulting your God. Because if they are, I agree with you that angels, they were speaking the truth. Adam would do that. And you are the one who said to me, it's not about Adam only, it's about the, the mankind. No problem. So oh, Allah, he says, if you are truthful, <laughs> stupidity is amazing so the trinity that many people they say how that can be i mean how god can be god anyway if he cannot be three and one at the same time he can't be god that's mean because you made him limited in ability so are you questioning god ability or you are questioning how god how can be how, how he can be god Show us the Trinity when Jesus prayed to the Father. He would go, just prove yourself, you idiot. Because Trinity is the Son praying to the Father. That is the Trinity. If he's not, there's no Trinity. <laughs> and you know, if you look at the example of the Son, uh, like as an example, the Holy Spirit. Where is the Holy Spirit? It's a spirit. We cannot see it. This is how the heat of the Son function. You cannot see it. If I say to you, there's wave, radio wave, and I say that to you, let us say, 300 years ago, 500 years ago, you will laugh at me. You will say you are crazy. You will say you are stupid. There's no such a thing. But today, because we have radio, we have TV, we believe in it. Yes, there is radio wave. We don't see them. There's an energy we cannot see. So if an energy cannot, can be exist, yet we cannot see, does that mean it does not exist? Does that mean if something we cannot see does not exist? That's false. And if God cannot be three and one, then God cannot be God anyway. Because you are telling me that God, he cannot do what no one can do. Right? Uh... <clears throat> do we have any smart Muslim when I make comment about the stupidity of the Quran or what he said so Allah is is a Allah is a shin Allah is a foot Allah is a leg and Allah is what Allah is many shape let us talk about hide and seek game how many of you played hide, hide and seek before when you were a kid maybe or maybe you still play it with your children's hmm? actually I advise you to do that if you have children that would be fun but shouldn't they will love you more Have you ever heard of a God? He have many shapes, yet he is one God.
Why? And what shape we are talking about? Read carefully and laugh. Uh, so your logic, can God do everything he can do sin? For sure he can do sin if you want. But this is against his nature, so he don't do it. But, but secondly, you idiot, sin, what is sin? Sin is doing something against what he said to do. So how he, it can be sin against him? That will make him hypocrite like your prophet. So look at this hadith here. It says that Allah will come to the Muslims in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Which I don't know when Muslims saw the shape of Allah. Allah has many shapes. All of those are Sahih Hadith. Look, Sahih Al-Bukhari, Abu Dawood. All on all are Sahih. Look, all are Sahih. So what Allah He have? Allah have a shape. And what that shape is? This shape is a changeable shape. Read carefully. Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they saw first time. Question. What happened to the first shape which he you must have saw first time which does not exist any muslim can tell us what he put a shape in the closet he take it off he put a new shape halloween day Any Muslim have an answer? How many shape Allah he have? He is the transformer. That's a good name. Allah the transformer. Hmm? Is that Allah? What shape we are talking about? And when the Allah He changed His shape, things will get worse. He will come to the Muslim and they will say to Him, He will say to them, I am your Lord. They will say to Him, Get lost, you are not. Can you believe it? Muslims are like a chicken, they follow a shape. If you look like that shape, they follow you. You don't look like that shape, they don't like you. Is that why you rejected Jesus? Because you did not like his shape? They insult their Allah and they say, we seek refuge by Allah from you, which means they accuse him to be the devil. Why? Just because he changed his shape. How this is, can be even a religion? And what is the shape of Allah is made of? I challenge the Muslim to leave a comment in the section down there. Tell us the shape of Allah is made of what? I will give you option. Rubber, plastic, uh, silicone, steel, uh, wood. You tell us. We need your help. What is the shape of Allah is made from? And what will happen to the previous shape? He will burn it. He will put it in eBay. He will put it in Amazon. Is it for sale? Is it in the trash can? And how Allah is moving from shape to a shape? Is he one God? How how many how many God do we have now? Shape number one, shape number two, shape number three, shape number four. Which one is Allah? To the point Muslims are confused. Allah he come to them in a shape other than they which saw first time, which is very weird. As I know, Muslims they never saw Allah. So Muhammad is making a lie. And he said to them, I am your Lord. And then they say to him, get lost. You are not our Lord. You are a stupid liar. We seek refuge by Allah from you. And then we go and we see the Muslim saying that Allah have a foot. Allah have a shin. Allah have a tail. Allah, I mean, what this God, what this Allah is? The most confusing cult ever. 
Let me get some water. I'm so glad our internet is good today, huh? We did not lose connection until now. Weird. The splendor of Allah's face will burn any of his creation that he saw. Oh boy. It's a volcano shape. I got it now. The splendor of Allah's face will burn anything. I extends to. That is sight? Extends to. So what do we understand from these narrations in this verse? And many more. What do we understand that Allah has? How do we believe in that, Nazari? How is or what is the correct creed in the way we believe in it? We don't do any of? No tahrif, no ta'til, no takif, no tamthir, and no tafwi. In case you do not know what he's saying, he said, don't ask, don't question, don't try to understand. Allah have a face, that's it. Don't ever question how. And here I ask the Muslims, as long as Allah have a face, that means he have a back. And yes, actually there's a hadith speaking about Allah's shoulder. Allah back. Allah have a face. The second you say you have a face, it means you have a back. Okay. People out there said, no, 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 no. It means reward. These verses, <coughs> these hadith mean reward, not the face of Allah Ta'ala. So are we saying that uh, the reward of Allah's face or the reward burns any of the creation that extends to? His sight, the hadith says sight extends to? Does that make sense? Secondly, why even ponder? Why even delve into this? Just leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. There's no need to try to analyze and no need. No need. This is the way of the companions. Al ulama. This is the way they believed in it and they accepted it with no investigation. Okay. Leave it. No investigation needed. Just leave it. Because the second you start investigation, you will die crazy. You, you will die laughing. He is ever fool. Now he used the word Yad Allah Mil ah. Now why do the translation here? We use the word hands. Because Allah also yeah, talk about himself. Yad Allah Pauka uh, the hand of Allah is above their hands. But how do the hand of Allah look like? Don't imagine. Don't. I mean, that's it. Don't imagine. Don't imagine. Never imagine or we will kill you. Don't even try. Don't even think about it. Hmm. Don't. Just don't. Said hey, I didn't say Allah said. The Prophet said, who knows Allah better than Allah? Who knows Allah better than Allah? That's a good question. Allah, he said he have hands. What's wrong with you? Who knows Allah better than Allah? So what is missing here? He have a face, he have hands, he have a shin, he have five fingers. What is missing? Huh? What is missing? Says in Bukhari, what's Bukhari's name? <laughs> Muhammad ibn Ismail. It says that a Jew came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A Jew came to her and he said to him, Ya Muhammad, look at the way they speak. Ya Muhammad, not Ya Rasulullah. Ya Muhammad, Allah Ta'ala will place all the heavens on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all the mountains on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all the trees on a finger. Allah Ta'ala will place all of the creation on a finger. And then he will say, I am the king. Upon that, Muhammad Sallam smiled until his premolar teeth became visible. And he recited, 
مَا قَدَرُ اللّٰهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِي They made not a just estimate of Allah such as is due to him. Abdullah the narrator said the reason why he smiled is to express his wonder and his belief in what the Jew said. So what does this prove that Allah has? Has a finger or fingers. A finger why? A finger too. A finger I know what I can see. Allah have fingers. I, I turn my head. I saw the finger. I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn on me. I know what I can see. Five fingers are me. Uh, what we learn? Allah have five fingers. That's it. We learn about Allah. That's what we need about Allah. This is what the Muslims need about Allah. They have face, you have five fingers. You have a shin. You have eyes. That's it. This is Allah. He have many shape. And his foot is majestic, beautiful, sexy foot. This is where the song is. Like, you know, it's a, uh, he's sexy and you know it. Operation or elaboration there? Alhamdulillah. Allah Ta'ala says in al Qalam 42, يوم يكشف عن ساق ويدعون إلى السجود فلا يستطيعون the day when the shin shall be laid bare and they shall be summoned to prostrate before Allah but they will not be able to now in according to a hadith in Bukhari this shin is the shin of Allah the hadith says that Muhammad said I'm so glad it's the shin of Allah not the shin of Joe Biden I mean that would be horrible That's very the shin of Allah. The shin of Allah. I mean, why Muslims are jumping? I mean, we were in the face and the eyes and then fingers and then we jump to the shin. Between them, what is what is, what is there is between? What is between the fingers? Okay, we learn now that Allah have hands. Allah have five fingers. Allah have eyes. Allah have face. Okay, how come we are jumping to the shin? What is between? Is Allah like cut off? Like can we say that Allah shin connected right away to his arm? What happened between them? Right away from the face of Allah, hand of Allah, five fingers of Allah, and then suddenly we are in the shin. Don't you think there's something missing? Don't ask. Allah will lay bare his shin. Who? Allah. Strategies. Allah will lay bare his shin. And all the believers, they will prostrate themselves before Allah Ta'ala, men and women. There will only remain those. Can't believe how beautiful the shin of Allah. Brother, if you see the shin of Allah, you will wish to convert to Islam immediately. How we knew Allah. Do you know even the hadith says how we knew? They asked Muhammad how we knew Allah. He said from his shin. It's in the hadith. How we recognize Allah from his shin. Anyway, with this I want to say, with the shin of Allah, I want to say to you, I, I hope you will enjoy your shin for today. And uh, remember one thing, that you have been a shin that make you a godly person. Because you have a shin, Allah have a shin, you have five fingers, Allah have five fingers. However, remember one thing, be humble. For Allah fingers are bigger, better than your fingers. And they are very good to be licked. <laughs> okay, so Allah fingers are the best. And Allah shin, no competition. No one can compete with the sin of Allah. And the face of Allah is so beautiful. And the foot of Allah is so magnificent. It's one of the Magnificent Seven in the movie, actually. You will see it. Go in the movie, the Magnificent Seven. You will see the foot number seven. This is Allah. So now, those Muslims who they are trying to defend Islam by saying how you can worship a man, we notice that Allah is... Uh, if he's the man, he, well, he's a big foot, I don't know. He's an octopus, I don't know. But he have two hands, and they are located, both of them in the right side of his body. He have two eyes. He have two ears. He have a shin. Nowhere it says he have two shin, by the way which make him funny how he walk, how he walk.
I mean, if you have one shin, like what you do, like you jump like boing, boing, boing. I don't want to imagine that because the Muslim said, don't imagine, don't ask. Okay, so Allah have a shin. All this description lead us into a physical God and Allah is not a spirit. Remember that. The Muslim who say to us, Allah is a spirit, he is lying. No single Muslim believe in such a lie. Allah is not a spirit. This is a Muslim fatwa website. <clears throat> it says, the spirit or soul is not one of the attribute of Allah. Do you see it? Muslim don't believe in such a thing. So Allah is a solid idol made from concrete, from rubber, from what you name it. But he is not a living being. He is just a shape. And he is a freaking uh, 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 stupid shape made by a man. Imaginary man. The same as the Arab. They worship him for centuries before Muhammad. And people, not only the Arab, because this is not even an Arabic name. The Aramaic, other nations, they worship the moon god, Allah. Allah. Al mean God, la mean or the name of this God. I want to say thank you guys for being here and uh, we appreciate having you. We have only 900 people today. Maybe I will take tomorrow for a break, make you give you a chance to watch my videos. And please be sure you download the videos. We have them before because in two hours, three hours from now, I'm going to delete all the previous video. I will keep only this one. So if you did not download the previous videos, go download them before we take them down. All right. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And we say thank you for those who support us in Patreon. We appreciate your support. And uh, may the Lord bless us. Save us from every cult, from every satanic teacher, from every deceiver. And never, never, never trust a person. He make a special privilege for his own, like Muhammad. If you go right now to Google, find the privilege of a prophet Muhammad. You will see all of it is about sex and money and booty. And this is what all cult leaders they share. All cult leaders, they share one thing. They want to sleep with your wife. They want to take your money. And they want to have the power of politics. Governors, controllers. Muhammad have all of those and Muslims do not not ashamed to say yes the Prophet he have a privilege every Muslim he can marry only with four Muhammad have unlimited number a woman she can offer herself to the Prophet if a Prophet he saw your wife you have to divorce her immediately so the Prophet he can have her this is what they say in their books this is how you know a cult leader the Lord he says from their fruits you shall know them Muslim, when they speak about me, they say Christian Prince followers. I have no followers. I'm not, I'm no one. I'm not even a priest. What followers? I'm here sharing my knowledge. I'm like all of you. Sharing my knowledge about the garbage of Muhammad. Simply, I'm a person who can do what very few people can do. That's all. And I believe it's my duty to help people to see the truth. And the truth will set them free. Otherwise, I have no followers. I follow only one person and advise always people to follow only one person. His name is the Messiah. No bishop, no priest, no pope, no name in this earth is worthy of following except the name of the Messiah who was on earth. But yet he said every two of you mention my name. I will be between them, which means he is right now with us. There's only one name you can trust. I am a sinner. Do you trust me? Why you want to trust a man? Every human being is a sinner, can be tempted, can be corrupted, can be false, can go after money, can go after sex, can go, can go, can go. Human being, his nature is a sinner nature. There's only one person you can trust. That is the Messiah. And this is the mistake many people do. They think highly of a person who, who you know, that he is just a human like you. He's a sinner like you. There's only one person you think of highly. That is the Messiah. Otherwise, you are wasting your time. So, don't 
don't. Take example of your life better than the Messiah because there is nobody better. And it doesn't matter how good we can be. Let us say there's a somebody who is an amazing person, very nice, but still he is a human. And still he will do sin. He will sin by his thought. He can sin physically. He can sin by thinking. He think he can even by imagining. You we, we sin. So in order always to be a winner and not to be a fool, follow only one person. His name is a Christ. His name is amazing. He is a miracle. Not only he do miracle. All prophets of God, they do miracles. The Messiah is the only one. He himself is the miracle. So I leave you. And I pray with the Lord, to the Lord, that he will keep us in guidance and will keep us away from cults like Islam and other cults. Be vigilant. Don't be, make people fool you. Don't believe. Don't believe in a priest. Don't believe in a bishop. Don't believe in a man. Believe only in one holy God who is the only one who will not change. We change. You get married. You are in love. Few years after you are seeking divorce, what happened? Because a human being changed. Human being changed. But if you are in love with God, He will never leave you alone. You go crazy about the person. You worship the person. You love the person. You do everything you want for this person, and then this person He leave you. And this is you can do to others, and the people can do it to you. I'm not talking about female or male. What happened? Very simple, human being, he changed. You yesterday is not you today. You can be changing to good, you can be changing to worse. Why? This is a question you answer. This is why we should put our trust in the Lord, otherwise we will be disappointed and hurted all over the place. You will get hurt. Because people, they change. And people who you trust them, they can hurt you most. Because you trusted them. And now because they changed, they can hurt you. Trust the Lord. Stay with Him. He is your protector. He is your guidance. He is the only one who can save you. And there is no other name above His name. In his name, I leave you in peace, and I pray to the Lord to keep you in good health and wealth. We pray that none of you will have this filthy coronavirus. We pray that the Lord will make it go. I don't believe really that medicine will fight it, because obviously medicine is trying things. is not working for that benefit. I believe the Lord is the only one who can make it go. Doctors, they try. They make us like a mice to try things on us. And maybe one day th something will work. We need to pray. And the Lord is our protector. And if something happened to us, we are victorious anyway. Because whoever die and he believe in me, he will live. So death should not be a problem. We shall not fear it. We shall not be running away from it. And in fact, those who run away from something, that thing will follow them. Those who are afraid of being sick, they get sick. Because your phobia will kill you. Those who are afraid from death, they will die first. Don't be afraid. Be strong. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Please subscribe to Patreon. And if you like to support us, feel free. We appreciate your support. Take care. And God bless.